If code is a liability, why is it a liability? It's a liability because I've offered somebody the freedom to be able to change their mind about how they implement the functionality. How easily can they change their mind? Does the code resist them at every step of the way? Does it fight back? In that case, we have a bit of a problem, uh, which we like to dub uh, legacy code. But, you know, quite frankly, there are systems that are you know, barely 24 hours old and they already have legacy code uh, uh, in them. Uh, this is one of the interesting things about running, uh, I do a lot of workshops for companies. And it turns out you don't, legacy code is not something that emerges over years. It can happen in about three hours. Yeah. And the consequences of the legacy code can play out for the next nine hours. Um, so it doesn't take very long to get into legacy. It's a liability because it gets in your way. It, gets, it prevents you from being able to change the functionality or how you implement the functionality. So it, it's, a, it's, a, it's not an enabler, it's an inhibitor. It's an enabler from one perspective, but let's look at it from a different perspective. It's an inhibitor. That's why you care about it. If something is a liability, you watch it like a hawk. You don't sit there and just leave it off to the side. This tells you why code quality matters. Because it is a liability, you don't increase your liability, you try and reduce it. You corral it, you keep your eye on it. And how do we define the thing that we want from it? We talk about functionality, that's great, but how do we know we have the functionality? Which leads us right into test code. We have lots of different ways of confirming functionality. I'm not going to say that the test code is the only thing, but it's certainly quite good at it. And so that is this idea that the tests have a certain value. And there's even this uh, wonderfully uh, provocative perspective that actually your test code quality should be higher than your production code quality. Because in theory, somebody could come along, let's just imagine, thought experiment, they're very cheap and they don't cause you too much pain. Thought experiment, delete all your code, except for your test code. Now, can you reconstruct the system based on what you have? In most cases, I'm pretty sure the answer is going to be no, but occasionally you'll run across a very clear set of test cases that actually help you read through and define what it is that's going on. Um, in other words, they tell you what your functionality is. Now, this is, where, this is really where we want to sort of head. Um, this is the fragrance uh, that we're after. 